Hi friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub and Kropa. We are always confused like between multiple ways of writing and verifying XPath and generating as well as like which tool is the best to write the XPath and different kinds of selectors. Let me help you to understand which is the best tool or which is the best way to write the XPath and writing, verifying and generating XPath. In this video, I will compare a couple of uh, tools and uh, will show you the advantage and disadvantage of them. So uh, a quick view of uh, different tools here. Let me show you like this is at high level. Let me show you at high, I uh, mean in details. Comparison between different uh, multiple tools. The very first feature auto suggest locator functions while typing like in a smart editor so which tool helps you like if you are writing your own xpath because it is always suggested that we should write our own xpath so we have chrome tools chrome dev tools or like browser dev tools you can say we have cropath we have different types of xpath extension like uh, xpath helper we have and then we have selectors of so which one we should choose let me show you the very first thing here so suppose we have to write an xpath uh, for any element here let's say for this selector so here we have to write xpath first we will see like we all used to say that we should write our own xpath and then we immediately start typing here in uh, chrome dev tools right like the, here we will say inspect this element command f and then we start typing here double forward slash h3 and you see as soon as we start typing this dom used to scroll up and it is highlighting this element and in fact if some if some other element you are inspecting let's say if we inspect this element here and this is a then we start typing double forward slash a here and this element used to go away again we will have to inspect that element and now start typing here let's say text is there so right now we are writing xpath for this element Okay, so you, this DOM used to keep scrolling up and down. Then we'll have to inspect this element multiple times and you copy this value. So, and there is a space. So this we will have to remove. Again, a lot of challenges are these. And still you see there is zero of zero matching node. We'll have to make it contains. And you see that how much time we are wasting in all this. Too much time consuming. Isn't it? Now it is showing one of five. So still we couldn't make it the unique XPath for this element. We have wasted quite enough amount of time here. And this is something like writing XPath in Notepad. Isn't it? Because in like if it's a smart editor, we used to get the auto suggest values and all. Now same thing, let's do it on XPath helper. We have XPath helper tool which is the very old tool like it was in uh, last updated in 2015 if you see at uh, chrome store so you see here xpath helper so this is the tool i'm talking about which is widely used but it was last updated because this was the like very uh, first and old tool so here if you start typing the same xpath for this element like say Double force. Another disadvantage and the problem with this tool is that you see that we cannot inspect this selector sub element if we have to inspect that again because it is hiding the view. You see that now we cannot inspect that element, that selector sub, which is hiding because that has been hidden by this uh, XPath helper pop up window. What to do now? This is, this is really challenging. So I don't know where that element gone. Anyways, so if we have to type the xpath here, like this. So this is again same thing like writing xpath in notepad. You should be knowing each and everything up front. And then you can like replace those values and all. So this is challenging here. And it doesn't give you the matching node or sorry matching node which all nodes are there. So this is again a challenge here to write xpath at selector sub. Uh, sorry at xpath helper like you type here and then it gives you that i don't know like what result it is giving over here 
right so no this is tough here it's showing results three matching node while here it's showing for the same thing five matching node. don't know which one is correct let's see which one could be the correct one because here you see that results showing three in chrome dev tools it is showing five now let's see in uh, let's see in crow path here if we start typing double forward slash a so the challenge this one this challenge is not there in crow path that it will not be hidden here at least we can inspect this element so a and then but it is not giving the auto suggest we will have to paste the value so copy this value and paste this and this you will have to remove from here still this challenge is there in crow path this we will have to make it contains because equals will not work three matching node so it's still again lot of time waste copying pasting value not sure that which one is the unique one let's see how selector sub does this same thing here you just start typing and you will start getting the values along with their occurrences in the drop down and you see we need not to copy remove the spaces and all everything is done and just in like simple few seconds we are able to write our own xpath and if you paste the same xpath here what we have written over here you will get the correct value of that like how many matching nodes are there three elements are matching all three matching nodes you get it here in the selector sub tab so this is really helpful and along with that you get the uh, you are typing xpath here you will get the css selector for the same at the same time which is the relative css selector so this is really cool and really helpful you see that no time waste in copy pasting values get the correct results everything is fine and perfectly like in a smart editor in few seconds we are able to create our own xpath and you get multiple options you see that we need not to inspect the element again and again we need not to like type the values copy and pasting so no time waste at all shadow dom support let's see about the shadow dom so for an example this page has lot of shadow dom elements so here you see now see in crow path does it support no Crowbar doesn't support xpath helper can we write xpath uh, selectors for this so very first thing like if we start typing here input you see null and then if id is there let's say copy this id at the rate id is equal to no null and does it support like hashtag input no null invalid xpath expression is showing so because like xpath helper is just for xpath not for css and does chrome dev tool supports this so let's see this one hashtag input so no chrome dev tools as well showing zero of zero and not for xpath as well like if we type double forward slash input at the rate id is equal to input so chrome dev tools also not supporting shadow dom elements so we have seen like nothing is none of the tool there is nothing which supports shadow rom elements but no we have selectors up which supports shadow rom as well just open selectors up tab and you will get all the information for the inspected element whether that is an inside shadow rom or outside shadow rom what all possible selectors are there what could be possible what could not be possible like this element is inside shadow dom so and for such elements xpath won't support so it's telling you input is there like sorry related css selected it's giving just path is giving everything is giving so this is so simple and really helpful so none of the tool supports shadow dom generate relative css selected this is really good feature and amazing feature because if you compare any any uh 
tool out there what they gives the xpath or css selectors or anything so we are talking about the css selector so let's see what css selectors other tools gives and what selector sub gives okay so very first thing let's uh, get the uh, css selector for uh, let me show you like very simple thing here in uh, okay here itself in test project website if you see that the css selector which is given by crow path pretty much long doesn't look like it at all like relative so let's see what selector sub gives selector sub gives the absolute robust i shouldn't use the absolute word it gives the robust unique x path as well as unique relative css selector which is very optimized and sought you see that this css selector you can use you can't use this kind of css selector and even if you copy the css selector from dev tools that will also be not be like that much precise and many a times it could be the dynamic one as well which you copy from the dev tools because that has used to have the dynamic id is there which you can, which you might not prefer but you see that what selectors have gives you and many a times like elements like this which doesn't have the uh, like id and all if you copy the css selector from here which used to come at very lengthy one you see that this is the one which is given by the chrome dev tools this element and this is the one which is given by the selector sub and here is the one which is given by the crow path and you know that selectors uh, xpath helpers doesn't give the css selectors that's for just for xpath so very helpful to generate the relative css selector because everybody wants to write their own uh, like wants to use css selector in place of xpath because of uh, like so many regions like performance issue and uh, like people doesn't prefer i means many doesn't prefer xpath so own preferences so this is like basically uh, developed with uh, considering everybody's requirement in mind selector sub so yes it is helpful feature to copy selectors from the context menu without opening dev tools this is really helpful feature in in case of like drop downs so like if you uh, at test project website if you see that at pl on a platform you want to write an xpath for this element so this is tough to inspect like in chrome we cannot inspect such elements you see that the drop down is not opening so sometimes it is tough like you will have to hover it right click and inspect so this is still fine like you can inspect this element because it is available in the dom what about those elements which uh, disappear from the dom when you uh, like inspect those element like this one washing machine let's say here at flipkart website if you inspect this you see that that's not coming in uh, dev tools like you won't be able to inspect so how you will write the selectors for such elements really challenging so in this case selectors hub will help you like you see even with using crow path even using xpath helper you we cannot write in chrome dev tools we cannot write xpath for such elements so the only way left is i mean yes there are other ways as well people can say that we can stop the call at source tab and all but that is again challenging really challenging so here how selectors of will help you you just uh, right click over here and you see that you got the option copy uh, in the context menu itself copy relative xpath so you can copy this xpath from here and if you see that you paste you see that washing machine we have copied so this is the one and as well as you can customize the like uh, right click option you can add more options from here you can also turn it off if you want you can add more options so now if you inspect that you will get you will be getting all those options from here in the right click context menu option itself like all those options will be coming which will be selected over here so this is really cool and really helpful in case of dynamic elements drop down values and if you doesn't want to waste any more time to opening uh, chrome dev tools or any selectors tool feature to customize context menu yes so this is there no other tool has this one and you see that uh, 
<coughs> some tools have that context menu option but the value and what uh, the way uh, x path and css selector you will get from selector sub i showed you like that will be like incredible and very much optimized which you directly can you can use it in your script so that will be always very much optimized and a lot of information you will be getting over there gives proper error message for invalid format of and missing elements this is really important and really huge time saver for uh, for any automation tester or any developer and for everyone basically because uh, people those who are scrapping the website writing scrapping data and all really helpful for them because we make a lot of mistakes while writing xpath so suppose if we are writing xpath and it is a long xpath sometimes like if you have to write an xpath for this element with respect to forum a test project website so what we used to do is like we start typing here and when we type we make a lot of mis mistakes and in fact like sometimes when we copy the xpath from our script that time also we make some mistakes like uh, we lose some values and all like we copied the wrong value that also are, i mean those kind of stuff we do like here if you see that uh, let's say we have copied this platform and pasted here and by mistake i missed this single quote here but it will show you zero of zero but it will not tell you what's wrong in your xpath you copy this value in uh, xpath helper invalid xpath expression but what is wrong in my xpath can somebody tell me like suppose if this is a very long xpath like this and it will be keep saying that wrong xpath but what is wrong there in that xpath does cropa tells no it will just tell that this is uh, in fact low in fact you see that it is just saying the 10 elements matching which is like absolutely wrong let's see the same thing in selector so you just paste the xpath and press enter it will tell you that what wrong in your xpath like single quote is missing absolutely like correct information it will tell you if you add that and press enter it will give you the right information so this helps a lot like if you are doing anything wrong like if you are typing something xpath here in for uh, like for shadow rom elements will give you the information xpath doesn't support shadow rom but no other uh, element no other tool will help you with this kind of information so this is really helpful for learning for saving a huge amount of time while building your own xpath css selectors and debugging automation options to customize ui this is again really helpful feature like many people doesn't want like if you want to customize this ui like i you don't want to see this one this uh, such a huge tab here or you want to customize something like in crow path you have this one like it is always giving the auto generated x path let's say here it is giving all those and many people doesn't want these all this information like absolute x path link text etc and this uh, long values doesn't want so like those kind of stuff so you uh, means a lot of things are happening over here so you see that a lot of issues are here like you doesn't want to see all this you don't need this you don't need this you don't want this feature so what to do you will have to like bear that but no selectors in selectors of all these things has been taken care like if you doesn't like this is a uh, filter attribute filter you doesn't want you can turn it off you want the uh, add command you can turn it on you doesn't want you doesn't want this uh, to get the auto generated you can keep it off everything is customizable like like for context menu you doesn't want the context menu you can keep it off from here that will not show you. so all those things can be done from here in selector sub and everything is customizable which is really helpful svg element support this is uh, again another really good feature uh like for uh for an example at this test project website if you see that twitter icon if you are on uh let's say you have this uh xpath helper first thing well, let's see about xpath helper does it support if you start typing svg it will not give you th those information nothing right so no it doesn't support see uh, let's see about xpath uh this one chrome dev tools copy this xpath what it gives it gives the wrong zero of zero how about crow path 
it doesn't give you uh, that information right you see that it is giving not giving the correct information giving the wrong x, uh, x path pattern for svg let's see about how about selector sub you just open it turn it on and you will see that it gives the right selectors for svg element gives the right information that this element is inside svg and all those information which you can directly use it in your script iframe support yes all of them support iframe but what is the difference selector sub has made here like for an example if any element here here if you see that this chat window let me inspect so let's first see with the chrome dev tools let me just stop it here you see that this element is inside iframe but from chrome dev tools you won't be able to understand whether this element is inside iframe or not until unless you will scroll up and down in the dom or you waste some some time while writing your script xpath helper doesn't tell you right away that this element is inside iframe now let's see what chromepath does right now it tells you that the yes this element is inside iframe but the problem with this the xpath which uh, chromepath is giving right now you won't be able to use such kind of xpath because it, this looks like pretty much lengthy and absolute let's see what how selectors hub has made this really easy for users and really optimized one how it has optimized you see it gives you the relative xpath relative css and very much optimized no indexes there and gives the xpath for iframe for element which are inspected which is inspected here all the information it is giving here so which is very optimized and directly you can use it in your script and in fact if you right click and copy this value if like if you keep it on this here from here and now if you right click and copy this value you will see that it will tell you that this element is inside iframe or like all those information it used to give relative xpath so as you can compare the relative xpath what selector sub gives with any other tool out there it has been optimized like anything like anything you won't be able to imagine like how much algorithm it has optimized to gives you the best unique relative xpath and unique relative css selector which is very very much optimized compared to any other tool out there in the market whether it's a crow path xpath helper okay xpath helper doesn't give it if you copy the value from here from chrome dev tools you will always find always find the xpath or css selector which selectors up gives the really really optimized one relative js path selector sub is the only tool which gives the js path relative js path which developers directly can you, you they can directly use their this in their J, javascript so they need not to write like js path the document dot query selector and then writing the css selector so no more time waste for them as well they can just directly click here and copy this value and use use it in their script features to generate relative css selector with user attribute so yes you can generate the selectors with your own attribute like here you can just turn it on and if you want to generate selectors with any of the attribute which you want you can so here let's say it is generating with placeholder but you doesn't want with placeholder you want with something else like let's say area label so you just pass the area label here and press enter it will generate with that if you like doesn't want this one you turn it on press enter it is generating with placeholder you doesn't want you can turn it off so like this it will really helpful let's see how this thing is done in cropath so if you turn it on nothing is happening over here if you try to so just wanted to tell you guys that uh, i'm not working anymore in cropath so you will not find any more support from me or any update on cropath from my side so you see that selector sub is just incredible in all these uh, aspect and really helpful feature to generate related css selector with user attribute so yes you can generate css selector with your own attribute supports multiple browser like chrome firefox as with similar functionality 
so this is another re really really good things because many times what happen like beginners they start uh, using such tools and they have to learn different different functionality like for an example very first thing like xpath helper doesn't uh, supports uh, is not available for other browser it's not available for uh, firefox browser uh chromepath has different functionality on uh, chrome and uh, like it has different functionality on firefox so if you see this is the firefox here so if you open here and you will find the different Chromepath UI here in uh, Firefox and different in Chrome as well as you will not find any update on that so yes and uh, so a lot of challenges over there but if you are using selector sub you will see the same functionality here same functionality here no difference at all like if you are typing writing right click all the functionality and everything is there similar functionality so you need not to worry if you're a beginner whether you should write your own i mean the different different functionality you need not to learn basically to use a tool and of course like dev tools as well works different in different fashion like in chrome and firefox so that is another challenge like here you search for html then there is like in uh, chrome that's a different way so that is another way to learn the, i mean you will have for, for a beginner it is challenge to learn different things so it's really helpful in those aspects live supports for users so i'm always available like uh selectors is the only expert tool which has the live support you can reach out to me 24 by 7 or any of the social media platform or the selector sub slack channel so you can reach out to me for any query here if you see that uh, i'm really active people are uh, any questions any thing you guys um, want to ask you will always find me active here and all the like uh, any kind of feature request or anything you have any question you feel free to reach out to me so in all aspects selector sub is really really helpful and the kind of support the kind of features it has which will it will save a huge amount of time for you there's no basically actually many people ask this question like can you compare selector sub with other tool like uh, why selector sub is the best tool compared to uh, other expert tools and what different it has so uh, i mean i would say like there's no comparison between selector sub and other tools because this is the only smart editor and the kind of innovation it brought to you which saves a huge amount of time and none of the expert tool has such kind of features and innovation so with that uh, thank you so much and it's a community product whatever features and anything you see here it comes from the uh, like community support and uh, from their feedback and from their uh, challenges if you have anything any issue raise here at github i will be more than happy to incorporate those features your requirement and uh, I would really request you that please share about selector sub so it reached to all the crow path users and everybody and they can uh, get the advantage of uh, selector sub which is a absolutely free tool also uh, i'm working on this full time i'm not working for any company so i would really request you if you can be a patron and support selector sub please uh, be a patron and support selector sub it will uh, help me to earn my bread and butter and to keep selectors of free forever for everyone there is no license nothing is required right now there is 16 patron which are supporting and seven uh, i'm earning this is my earning actually per month 79 dollar per month so if you can make a small difference just a small cof one coffee cost that will be more than enough to survive me and selectors of for free forever and please share selectors of with everyone with that, thank you. Thank you so much. Do share about Selector Sub on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and whichever media platform. And to make the best use of Selector Sub, please watch the video tutorial here at the YouTube of uh, Selector Sub YouTube channel to make the best use of it. There are a lot of lot of features. This is just a very few and very quick. I have shown you the demo. So with that, thank you. Thank you so much.